Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of December. This is the first series for December that I'm putting out. Um, it is generals, uh, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you. That's impossible. There are too many of you watching. If it does not resonate, check your moon and your rising. If those still do not resonate, then simply check back in the, in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. It is possible that you uh, took a, a leap of faith on someone and you, you know, they may have literally stabbed you in the back or you, you feel that they, they have done so. Um, your this reading deals with someone very close to you, someone from your past, because it is the devil. Um, it would have been unhealthy or toxic in some way, or that um, there was another party or a third party. Um, you may have been disillusioned by this person um, with the devil. Um, the devil is illusions and fantasies, um, temptations. You may feel very drawn to this person regardless with the devil in it because he is in the upright, indicating to me that that energy is still very much present um, around you. <clears throat> There's more indication of third party here with this three of coins, but you're alone. It could be that you were the third party. Um, it could be that you are fearful. Um, you're trying to fit the pieces uh, together. The plan, it didn't work or, um, yeah, you wanted, to, because this card would have come up in the upright, so you would have wanted um, a long-term relationship with this person that you were very much connected to. Um, perhaps you didn't plan or didn't think things through because it's in the reverse indicating that it failed, it did not work. Perhaps it did not work because of a third party for some of you. Or perhaps you just jumped in without thinking. Um... Understand also that these energies can go vice versa, all right? Again, you see what there's another third party card. Somebody was shut out. Um, with regards to that which you are trying to manifest, you are open to talking to this person again, but you're guarded. Your sword is down indicating that you're willing to hear them out, um, but you're keeping that sword close by. You, in this little group, and this represents the situation, this is about, um, you see there's this tombstone here out in the desert. So this speaks to an ending of some kind. Um, it, it doesn't grow or it can't grow here. And this knight gets down on his knees to take a closer look at those hieroglyphics because he's trying to figure something out But um, with regards to this ending. But he's missing clarity. This is the sun that just begins to rise. So... Uh, it is not like the one in the Rider weight where it's fully risen. This one just begins to rise. Everything still sleeps here, indicating that there's very little light, so not a lot of clarity, and maybe not a whole lot of uh, optimism at this point because they're missing this information. They're trying to figure things out. Now, this has to do with this Knight of Swords energy. 
So this is some sort of challenging news that came in for some of you. Uh, you may have found out that this person was married. For others, it could just simply be this person was unfaithful. I feel like you're trying to come up with a new plan or they are going to come back in with a new plan. This card here speaks to a future event that falls on the night. So whoever brought in that challenging news is about to give you more news over the next, um, it could be eight days, eight weeks, uh, could go out to eight months, but I don't believe it goes out that far. So um, I will say within eight days to eight weeks, and there will be unexpected news from this person. Okay. Um, it, this could be them that's coming up with a new plan or this could be you with your um, because you are looking for uh, you're taking a closer look looking for information you want the happy outcome you want the sun to be fully risen you want the warmth or to feel the warmth of the sun again in your life Five of Coins, another third party card, um, feeling left out in the cold. Or, you know, it could just simply be uh, a feeling of lack or something was lacking. You're guarded. In Queen of Swords, here is, um, she's got her arm going right across her chest and her sword uh, into, into the ground. Um, <clears throat> she's going to be careful she'll be looking closer with regards to this wish um, to this direction that she um, is desirous of going but um, she's been hurt It's like she's been down this road before. And most likely led astray, but, you know, maybe she was spending uh, too much time smelling the rose <laughs> and not looking deeper, you know. So, but this situation is emotionally or has been emotionally un, um, draining for her. She may be feeling somewhat bitter and resentful also. She is desirous of change. Here we see that, <clears throat> you, again, you get the impression that it could have been um, a connection that was hidden. You see? Um, and in the reverse, it is no longer... Um, struggles, jealousy, breakups, but yet she desires this. So she wants to change the position of this card to bring it back in the upright, you see. She's grieving over this loss, um, wanting this second chance. She doesn't really want anybody else. Um, and it's like um, you're in this time apart, but she doesn't know about this news yet. This is a future event that's predicted back here. Um, how do I get my desired result? You could be somebody um, who does very well for yourself. Um, with the privileged lady being here. Um, you may also plan here with regards to whatever you're trying to manifest. You could be playing your cards very close to your chest. Um, again, you get that impression that somebody may have been unfaithful and got caught or they lied and got caught, uh, which is what brought the tower in in the beginning or to begin with. Um, but the tower is in the reverse. 
on whatever got exposed in that connection, um, indicating that she, the privileged lady, is resisting this ending, does not want it. No, so again, we have the magician appearing. Um, she is still wanting to manifest this commitment because we have the lover here and the eight of coins. So um, wanting to put effort into this relationship or hoping that they will put the effort into this relationship. There is news and communication from this person. Um, and we see by the time we get here, she has received this news because there is a conversation that will take place here with the lovers. Okay, the lovers are what is in the room, or who is in the room, excuse me. This is a private space, a closed space where private conversations happen. And they're directly having to do with the wish. Here's the communication here. Um, again, there's the marriage card here uh, with the distant horizon. So, I mean, it could be that the person was married or the conversation could be about commitment or taking the relationship to the next level, which was the, de the uh, desire or the wish here. check here I feel that um, there's unex yeah you have unexpected news coming in and that's what this is predicting and it's also in the overall energies by this night you have two nights here one is very passionate the other one is the thinker and the planner these, whatever this news or message is, it brings change. Um, shedding light on this commitment or on this person. Possibly, again, we have that Ten of Coins energy where it's a strong possibility that this person is married shedding light on that situation. So maybe they are coming in to explain their situation and you are at a stalemate with regards as to what to do, what choice to make. It's very emotional for you because you have these very deep feelings for this person. And you are struggling with these feelings day in and day out, and every day is the same. Um, the relationship for whoever this is here was unhealthy in the past. Um, there is a decision. Um, somebody is coming to you because I have the journey card and it does have a male. So we have the male and we have the female. Um, this male is coming towards you. Um, yeah. So from whatever they tell you, you it's like you're a stalemate. I, you don't know what to do. Maybe you don't know if you quite believe them or not. Okay, But there is a decision to be made here. Now, from the notes from the universe, you have be true to yourself. Okay? The message... You may not ever understand what's going on in this person's life, but you can always figure out what is going on in your life. You have the compass 
as long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now, and you can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you will need to keep that compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, relationships, etc., they cannot help you find your true path. They are simply things that you will experience along the journey. The next message is the field of dreams. Great abundance will be yours if you are willing to do the work. Be clear about your thoughts, your feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world. You will reap what you have sown. So dream big, dream beautiful, take action and tend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. Remember, be true to yourself. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best and many blessings to everyone.